Good morning from Costa Rica to the second part of our trip here in Ubita, which is just this very, very large beach. So it's really beautiful. It's a national park again, but they have opening times which are more favorable for landscape photography. So in the evening they open till 6, which I made use of yesterday when I photographed sunset here. So you see there on low tide there's nice reflections and I use those to take some photos which I like. So I don't need a foreground for that, just the reflections and I had nice light. Now it's sunrise and if you buy a ticket at the entrance for the next day already in the evening, you can get in here actually for sunrise, which is also pretty nice. Um, the tickets are $6 per person per day. So not exactly cheap, but yeah, it's a national park, so it's okay to pay it. Um, there are multiple entrances. So we are here at uh, Colonia Beach, or however it's called. Uh, it's at the far end of the national park. So the Uvita Beach, which is the one with the looks like a whale tail it's right there at the front the tip of this little peninsula thing so it's i think three kilometers along the beach we're gonna walk there this uh, today have a look so it's pretty spectacular this beach um, but you see here tides slowly coming in so that's something to look out for as usual if you want to photograph how are the tides and it seems my subject here which I photographed just a few minutes ago, will be gone soon. So I had those patterns here in the sand, which I put into the foreground. I had some uh, decent light a few minutes ago, not spectacular as yesterday. Uh, still hoping for the sun to break through over those hills there. But yeah, it's, it's fine. We're here for three more days. So I'm gonna try again and again. So tomorrow, for example, tide will be out a little farther, the day after a little more. So. I get a bit more time every morning, also in the evening. But yeah, it's just awesome here also up there in the trees. I'm not sure if you hear it. Sometimes they're howling. There are the howler monkeys sitting there. <laughs> and it's quite nice if you walk along this beach. It's always this howling. Um, yeah, wildlife everywhere here in Costa Rica. It's just awesome. And now finally also I can take some landscape photos. And yeah, I'm going to show you more of this area. There's also a waterfall nearby, which I might explore or on our se second time here. So as I said in the last video, we're going down to Drake, then coming back and maybe we're staying here a few more days again. So we have a lot of time. So yeah, we can decide if we want to spend more here or at some other beach. But for now, I uh, hope that this sunrise develops into something spectacular. If not, we're gonna be here again tomorrow. Same day, same location. I'm here at or around sunset now. So you see, sun is about to peek through under the clouds there. And what will hopefully happen is those palm trees, this beach, this hill in the background will catch some nice light. And yeah, this is also something I realized. So this morning I thought, okay, the sun just needs to make it over this hill there. So not much to wait for, but Today we spent some time walking to the end of the beach, which is like three kilometers down that way. Uh, that beach is huge. And when we walked there, I saw, well, behind this little hill, there's another hill, which is a bit bigger. Then there are mountains. Those mountains seem to be cloud magnets. So I figure for sunrise, this beach, this Uvita beach might not be ideal, but actually for sunset, it seems to deliver again. So if you're ever here, Sunset is the time to go and very important low tide because see how huge this beach is now as I said already High tide. It's just a very small band of sand up there also my plan the next days to walk to the end and uh, Photograph towards the tip of this peninsula because there you have palm trees and then to the left and to the right There's a beach so it's like a sand bank going out into the ocean on low tide and when you stand there, you, you have just beach all around, palm trees, mountains in the background. And yeah, 
this beach just awesome. So if you're ever in Costa Rica, don't miss Uvita. It, it's, yeah, it's one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever been to, I'd say, especially with all the palm trees. Also, there's not many people, so it's quite a touristy area, I'd say. Nothing compared to Manuel Antonio, but with such a huge beach, you see there are people, but it's like one, two, three, one, two, so three people per 300 meters beach, maybe. <laughs> so it's really insane how big this beach is. You have to really see it. But enough waffling, <laughs> the sun is about to peek through. So I hopefully get my light and then I'm gonna start, take some photos in that direction and then also move to the other side of this little river and see what I can photograph towards the sun. So quite excited to have another day of shooting. Yeah, just awesome. So same as with the first video from Costa Rica, I also want to show you where we stay in Uvita. So you see here behind me our little house, wooden house. It's a bit more rustic than the last apartment, but it's also very beautiful and the location is just nice. So you see this gate, if we walk down there to the main road, maybe 50 meters, then to the right, 300 more meters, we're at the beach. So the one I showed you where I took the photos. So in terms of location, it's just great. And also yeah, the house itself, although it's a little rustic, Beautiful also, we have our little friend here, which stays with us the whole time, currently sleeping. Uh, also in terms of safety, it's okay, because despite being an open house, um, it's off the main street, it's gated. Also the caretaker, Francisco, stays right next to us, so uh, I can leave my notebook here, which is also very important if you're booking an apartment in Central America, also in South America, it's the same, you always have to do a bit of research where is the location of the apartment also is it safe and you never know for sure but at least with this one I think uh, yeah we did a good uh, we have a good selection or a good decision um, you see behind me it's a little kitchen we have here's where I'm working internet is unfortunately not sufficient to upload a six gigabyte video so the first video from Costa Rica which you've seen originally I wanted to upload it here but I had to delay it because the internet here is good for research but as with many places here um, yeah not for uploading such large amounts of data but yeah that's all there is for the kitchen and the living space and here we have a little toilet with a view so it's kind of open style there's the shower also open and there's just a garden where nothing is so good Costa Rican vibe here costs like $45 a night so in terms of price it's also okay and yeah really I'm really sad to leave tomorrow but yeah we're gonna head off to as I said Drake Bay for or 10 days really so a really long time off the grid and then we're coming back to Ovita again because it's so nice and this evening we have a final sunset shoot which I'm gonna take you along now but yeah that's the place and I'll continue this little series with the other videos always showing you where we're staying, what it costs and I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested.